Saturday 9th of May, what a, what a difference a week makes. Weeds everywhere, just springing up everywhere. But I have a counter defence, the glorious black plastic. I have to thank Mike and Rose from the allotment across the way. They donated this, it's, it's enormous, but then this place is enormous. I've moved the, the tiny bit of black plastic I had round to the back behind the shed. Well, there's the shed. Behind the shed I've got this nice dappled sun area. Um, unfortunately people have been throwing their rubbish over the back. So I've, I've had words, polite words. This is where I'm, I'm keeping, I've got oak trees growing, which I've, I've grown from seeds from acorns, which I, I got from the university up the hill. It's up that way. So I've got a bit of a tree nursery thing going on here. I've got um, many oaks. You're not allowed to plant on any trees on the allotment without permission. So they're staying in pots, I'm going to pop them on. But there are trees here already. I'm not sure what that is. That came with it. But for now, this is a nice, quiet woodland bit. I want to do flowers there, but it might not be sunny enough. Today's job, oh, hang on, more things. After the mice dug up all my, my seeds, I put in some parsnips and sorrel. Oh, and we've got a train coming. Probably a bit of a jump cut there. Um, where were we? Sorrel. Little things in pots. I've got a parsnip growing in, at home in a pot, so hopefully they'll do well. Now, do you remember this black currant bush? Well, I'm going to put... Where is it? The black currant bush that I bought. I'm going to put it opposite, so we've got... The gateway of black currants going on here. I've noticed that this this tree here is in leaf, so that's a field maple. That's pretty cool. Um, what else have we noticed? Apart from all the weeds, lots of bindweed everywhere. This up here, I think, is an apple tree. Can't see any apples yet. It's a nice bit of sun, isn't it? Look at that lens flare. Um, still a little bit of blossom, but that. Definitely looks a bit apple to me. As to what the other trees are, not a clue yet. Hey, a bit of light digging in the sunshine, I think, is in order today. So we dug a hole for the black currant. Fill it full of pericaceous. Here's a little black carrot. It's looking very good. It grew from a twig. So that hole is filled up. So we're just gonna take it out of there, stick it in its new home, put some soil, and uh, Bob's your uncle. Actually, I don't have an uncle Bob. I have an uncle Mike, uncle Steve, uncle Mal. No Bob yet. Not such a bad root ball on that one. Don't really need to dig that one up very much. Nice soft soil. This is a bit recessed, but I'm going to try and level off this ground so it's okay if it sinks down a bit. Still got the label. Keep the label there. It's my black current corridor. I was thinking called two a corridor. You know what? I'm quite pleased with that. In amongst all the weeds though, it looks quite smart. Now say you should put nest boxes up, sort of autumn time, ready for spring, but spring is already here and some of it has gone already. Bluebells are going over. So I'm putting my nest box up. I'm gonna put it in the hazel tree. I'm gonna screw it in. Screwdrivers. I'm not that worried about damaging the tree because this, this tree is going to get coppiced in it. So um, next year I'll, I can just put it in a different trunk. Um, Alright, let's get to it. Let's uh, put a new house up for some birds. And there we go, nice new bird house in your soul. Well, in the hazel tree anyway, they have a nice... Well, south is, well, that way. So it's going to get some evening sun. It's not going to get too windy or blustery. They should be able to get in and out of the hole. Maybe, hopefully, pick off some bugs and caterpillars from over there. That's certainly a, a room with a view.
felt more like a gardener today than a landscaper. Put a goji, goji bushes in there, raspberries in, black currants in. There was a bit of heavy work, a little bit. Just hoeing around here. Still got quite a bit of bindweed coming up. Last week I got loads out, but still, still coming up. Pretty pleased with the radishes. Um, it looks smart when you give it a hoe, you give it a rake, it looks smart. And um, did do some heavy lifting. I pulled the privet bush up, all the remains of it. So that's down here. That's going to be the other hugel culture bed, you might remember. That's the other one with the onions on. The onions aren't doing so well. I think it might be a bit too damp for them. They're coming up, but looking a bit, um, a bit wet, a bit damp. But it has been raining for most of the week. Whew, I think you can <laughs> hear I'm a bit puffed out. So, oh yeah, of course we did the nest box. So, home time for me. And um, might do some tomorrow, depending on the weather. I've got a big cycle in the morning. And I'll see how my legs are doing after that. Otherwise, it's been quite a productive Saturday afternoon.